The 12th of August 1995, Vicky Thompson was attacked while walking her dog Daisy, near her home in a Scot under Witchwood, Oxfordshire. She discovered Mark Weston in the lonely lane masturbating. He attacked her and struck her repeatedly over the head with a rock, this caused skull fractures and a severe brain injury. Weston placed her body on the edge of the train tracks, to make it look like she had been hit by a train. When Daisy the dog returned home without Vicky, husband Jonathan went out searching with neighbors. Vicky was found three hours later, barely alive, she was taken to hospital. The 18th of August 1995, Vicky died six days later from her injuries, her brain stopped functioning, the life support machine was switched off. The 13th of September 1995, Mark Weston is arrested on suspicion of murder. 1996, Weston was tried, but found not guilty by a jury, he was acquitted by a jury after just 50 minutes of deliberation. And released. It was revealed years later that the foreman of the jury contacted Weston after the trial, suggesting he sue the police. 2001, 26-year-old Weston met 15-year-old Helen Rusher, a waitress in a local pub in Fulbrook, Oxfordshire. Weston was working as a barman there. Helen was seeing someone else, but Weston started buying her meals and buying top-up vouchers for her mobile phone. He would text her 200 times a night. Weston persuaded her into splitting up with her boyfriend. After that the relationship became intense very quickly. May 2003, on Helen's 17th birthday she gave birth. Weston had always had a temper, especially after drinking vodka. But on one evening he got so stressed when she suggested they buy nappies, as he wanted vodka, he attempted to strangle her, push her head into the baby she was cuddling, the baby was screaming. Later that night when the house had gone quiet she quietly left with her child. In the coming weeks Weston would text her from different numbers, one of the texts saying, I killed her you know, I'll do the same to you. 2003, after the new Criminal Justice Act was introduced it was possible for a person to stand trial for the same crime for a second time, this had previously not been possible under double jeopardy rules. Weston was the first person in the UK to face the new rules. 2009, new evidence was presented to the CPS, and a retrial was ordered. The new evidence showed traces of Vicky Thompson's blood on Weston's boots, forensic scientists could prove that the blood was wet when it made contact with the boots, thus contradicting Weston's story that he did not know Vicky and was not in the area on the day of the murder. The 21st of October 2009, Weston arrested and charged with murder. The 30th of July 2010, Weston appears at the Old Bailey in London, charged with murder, he pleaded not guilty, trial set for November at Reading Crown Court. November 2010, Weston stands trial for murder at Reading Crown Court. The 13th of December 2010, Weston was found guilty of murder, sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 13 years. Thank you for watching. Murder UK is a website dedicated to giving the facts about murders and serial killers within the UK. Please consider subscribing and press that bell icon to be notified when we update new videos. Thank you.